Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, 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 Emmanuel. Oh, glory to you, King. Oh, glory to you, El Shaddai. Hallelujah, 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 Father. Oh, God, we praise your holy name, Lord God. Oh, God, I ask you, Father. That you wash me, Lord God, of all sins, Lord God, known and unknown, Lord God. That you created me, Lord God, a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me, Abba. Oh, Lord God, I just thank you, Lord God. I thank you, God, for this morning, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for this day, Lord God, that you have made, Lord God. And I thank you, God, that we shall rejoice, Lord God, and be glad in it, Father. Oh, God, we thank you, God, for breath, Lord God. We thank you, God, for life, Lord God. We thank you the activity of our limbs, Lord God, the operation of our minds, Lord God, yeah. the ability, Lord God, to move, to talk, to speak, to breathe, Lord God. We Hallelujah. thank you, God, Lord God, for keeping us, Lord God, for protecting Lord. us, Lord God, for allowing us, Lord God, to make it to this day, Lord God, yes, where we Lord. come together worship you, to praise you, Lord God, to give you all the honor, Lord God, that is due your name, Abba. Yes, thank Lord. you, God, keeping us in the palm of your hand, Lord God, for carrying us, Lord God, all the way, oh Lord God, onto this moment, Lord God, unto today, Lord God. And Abba, we just lift your holy name, Lord God. Yes, Abba, Lord. we praise you. We honor you. Oh, El Shaddai, we yes, lift Lord. your holy name, Lord God. Abba, yes, we come Lord. for you. Oh, Lord God, said that you are lovely, you are kind, you are yes, just, Lord. you are yes. faithful, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Oh, oh, Lord who sees, who looks yes, down, who sits high but looks low, who yes, sees, Lord. who's with us every step of the way. Yes, well, Lord. We thank you, God, that you're with us, Lord God, that you're close to those with a broken, un- with a broken yes, and contrite un- spirit, you, Lord God. God. You're with us in the midst of the fire, Lord God, the fire. Yes, Lord. Lord God, I thank you, God, that though we may go through trials, Lord God, we will not come out, Lord God, smelling of smoke, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Lord, Lord. I thank you as the fourth man in the fire, Lord God. Oh, God Almighty. Yes. Oh, Father God, we thank you, God, that yes. you are with us. You see us. You have your outstretched hand, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Lord, thank you, Lord. God, walking with us, Lord God, and keeping us company along the way, Abba. Oh, Lord, Lord God, as you just continue, Lord God, to just give us strength, strength, strength. Yes, Lord. Lord. God, oh, fill us up, Lord God, where we are empty, Lord God, where we are lacking, Lord God. Oh, yes, God, Lord. oh, God, water the barrenness of our souls, Lord God. Oh, yes, God, Lord. fill us up and make us whole, Lord God. We ask for a deposit today, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Here's- Spirit, Abba, as we're pushing and pressing, Lord God, against all odds, Lord God. Yes, oh, God, Lord. to seek you, to praise you, to welcome you in, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Oh, Abba, we just ask you to just have your way this day, Lord God. Thank Give you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Your spirit, more of yourself this yes, day, Lord. Abba, that it be you, Lord God, like yes, never Lord. before, Lord God. Oh, God, where healing is needed, Lord God, heal us, Lord God. Where deliverance is needed, deliver us, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Bless us in a special way this day, Lord yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Abba. Just help, Lord God, restore our souls, Lord God, restore our minds, restore our hearts, Lord yes, God. Lord. Oh, Abba, remove every chain, Lord yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Every dagger, Abba. Lord God. Yes, every Lord. Other of the devil, Lord God. Oh, God, let it be a victory, Lord God, over the devil, Lord God. Oh, God, Lord God, Lord God, Lord God. Oh God, even though we are surrounded, thank you, God, that we are surrounded by you. I thank you, God, that it's very important. God, and we pray today, Lord God, with the Lord God, that we have victory in you, Lord God. That in Lord God, there will be victory in you, Lord God. Pour out victory, Lord God. We will come, Lord God, 
the Lord of our Lord God. We will come out of the low place, Lord God. We will come out of overcome all affliction, Lord God. And I will go to the trial, Lord God, that we are. Oh God, and lift us up, Lord God. Thank you, God, that you are the lifting up of our head, Lord God. Pour of our soul, Lord God. Form a hedge of protection around your yes, people. Lord. Poor hop, Lord God. Yes, oh Lord. God, help us to continue to push, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Oh God, Lord God, Lord God, Lord God, Lord God, Continue to remind us, Abba, that Abba, Lord God, you are the help from whence up. We are the help from where, Lord God. Lord God, you are the hills, Lord God, from from where our help comes from, Lord God. Help us to look to the hills, look to the hills, Lord Lord God. Keep our eyes on you, Lord God. Not to just draw near us. Help us to pray away, Lord God. Help us to get closer to you, Lord God. Uh, we thank you, God, that you are the God who leaves in 99 to go get the one, Lord God. So, Daddy, just continue to woo us by your spirit. Draw us yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. God, Daddy, we need yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, no, no, more no, 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 than no. ever, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Our yes, souls Lord. are crying out yes, to you, Lord God. Yes, to put your yes, super Lord. on our natural, Lord God. Yes, Lord. To Lord. us again, Lord God. Oh, Holy yes. Spirit. Spirit, fall hard on us again. Yes, Fill us yes, up Lord. with the power of yes, you, God. Remove yes, the dragons, Lord God. Remove, Lord God. The Remove the curse, Lord God. 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 They're going on empty, Lord God. We need you. We need you. We need you. We Lord, oh, oh, that you are a restorer, God. Oh, God. Have your way, have your way. Make us whole in you. We need a refreshing again. again. Oh, God, an encounter with you, Lord God. Oh, God, to keep pushing and pressing towards the mark of the high calling of Christ Jesus, Abba, and help Lord God. Continue to rely on you, Lord. Standing, Lord, flesh, Lord God. Remove yes, us and us over and rebuild us, Lord God, from the ground up, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Oh, pull us in, pull us in by your love, Abba. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, wrap us up in your love, your arms, your you open your arms that are open wide, Lord God. Embrace yes, us, Lord God. Help us in your love, Lord God. Yes, yes, Lord. Your way, Lord God. We thank you, God, for thank the you, transformation, Lord. Lord God. We thank you, God, that we will be perfected in your love, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Oh God. Thank you, God, that we will draw closer to you like never before, Lord yes, God. Lord. Lord. Increase our love for you today, Lord God. Yes, Just Lord. Have your way. Help us to do more, Lord God, to push, Lord God, to press towards the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus, Lord yes, God. Lord. We thank you in advance, Abba. We thank you. We thank you. We thank yes, you. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Yes, Amen. Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank good morning, you. good morning, City of Refuge House of Prayer. Deacon Tony here. Welcome to our first July service in person. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hey. Yes, I hope everybody had a great July 4th. And um, I'll be reading the scripture today from uh, Psalm 24, verse 3 from the King James Version. Who shall ascend it? into the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in the, his holy place? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 
Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Send your fire, Lord. Send your fire, Lord. Send your fire, Lord. Yes, Hey, Hey, here, 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 who is it, Tikosa? Is there one? Ah, no, 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 Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, oh, am I? Who am I? I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. Hey. Am I? Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 
Oya baba si kiri amasia, robo usa ya masi kiri ni ni amasi kiri amaso koya baba si ya, robo usi kina masia ya mama sukuri ya basi kina mama si kiri ana na na si ya, ere de de si di di ana na na si kiri di ana na na sa kaya na na masi kia basu kuri ya masia, oh si kiri di amaso koya, ana masa kaya. Yes, Lord. Most high God, we praise your name. Yes, we Lord. praise your name. Yes, we Lord. praise your name. Oh, God, most high. Yes, so yes Lord. Worthy. So worthy. Yes, Lord. God, you're worthy. Yes, Lord. From the rising of the sun, you are worthy. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So worthy. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You are worthy. Yes, Lord. We yes, Lord. bless your name. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, Hallelujah. glory, glory. Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Good Amen. morning, good morning, City of Refuge. House of prayer. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you, Minister Nicole. Hallelujah. We Hallelujah. bless God for the hill of praise today. Amen. Amen. The presence of the Lord. Amen. We Hallelujah. Thank Lord. The angels are in the house, y'all. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless God. Deacon Tony, amen. Hallelujah. Our sound man 
our welcome man, our scripture reader man, amen. amen. Hallelujah. We bless God for his life, amen. amen. Hallelujah. I know a bunch of you are online today, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Many tried to press their way, but the devil got busy, amen. So I know quite a few of you are going through in your bodies. And we are lifting you up and we are praising God for your miraculous healing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we're praying for our sister Rita. Amen. Who was on her way to the hospital this morning with pain in the side of her head. Uh, we're praying for Minister Madeline. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We Amen. come against our stomach bug in Jesus' name. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We are praying. Continue prayers so for our sister Leslie. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all see her on yes. camera? She looks good, right? Amen. Amen. God is Amen. good. Amen. God is Amen. good. Amen. In Jesus. Amen. 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 So continue prayers for her complete healing. Amen. For that Amen. hidden area. Amen. Continue prayers for Sister Maria. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. She recuperates. Amen. Her post op recuperation. We continue Amen. to up before the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. If there's anybody else who's on with us this morning, Amen. We bless God for you. If you have anything going on in your bodies, Amen. Just get in the river. Amen. Get in the flow for healing. Hallelujah. Hope Rafa is the Lord, our healer. And Hallelujah. By stripes, you are already healed. Amen. Hallelujah. We send the healing power of God. We send the word of God. And he yes, is Lord. healing and delivering from every destruction. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I include um my son Taj this morning. He has something going on with his belly. Amen. We pray for total divine healing in Jesus' yes, Lord. name. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I saw quite a few of you. Amen. So good morning. Good morning. Amen. I saw Sister Leslie. Amen. Sister Christy from North Carolina. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Tammy, I believe, is on with us. Amen. God bless you, woman of God. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you, Minister Madeline. God bless Amen. you, Pastor. Sister Holly. Amen. Sister Molly. Amen. We know that um, your your house is covered with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Nothing can come past your doorpost over you and Levi. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Sister Yvette is on, right? Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, Sister Yvette. God bless you. Amen. Did I miss anybody else? I know. Sister I... Tiffany. Amen. God bless you. Family, God bless you, woman of God. Healing to you. I know, going now. And, and the yeah. birthday girl is on. Uh, happy birthday, sister. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Can everybody point your hand towards sister Ina? Come on. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! We love you! Amen, amen. Sister Ina and Sister Dolores, they share a birthday weekend together. Amen. Hallelujah. So happy birthday to the both of you. Amen. We pray that the blessings of heaven are smiling upon you. Amen. Hallelujah. Just, just a couple of reminders, um, beloveds. Amen. Reach out and touch someone. Amen. Come on, y'all remember that song, right? Reach out and touch, right? Yes. Somebody's hand. John 13 and 35 says, A new commandment I give you, love one another as I have loved you. So you also must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So listen, City of Refuge, how to prayer. Amen? Hallelujah. I'm encouraging everybody, all members, reach out and connect with the saints of God, with your brothers and sisters in fellowship. If you don't see somebody, if you don't hear somebody, check on them. Amen? Send them a text message. Call them real quick. Just say, sis, brother, 
I was thinking about you. We were missing you. Amen. And just let somebody know that they are loved. Amen. And that their presence amen. is missed. Amen. Amen. We want to be a house of love, right? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So can we do that? Can we make a commitment to do that? Yes. Amen. 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 All right. Next week is the um, the finance workshop in uh, Pennsylvania. Amen. Hallelujah. At our overseers church in Eastern Pennsylvania. If you are planning to make it out, if you are in the city, if you wanted to hop in the van with us, please reach out to me and let me know so we can um, help you make arrangements so you can get close to the van. Amen. Hallelujah. We're trying to avoid so many excess trips and driving. Y'all know how expensive gas is, right? Amen. Amen. So we're trying to make a smooth, swift journey. Amen. As smooth as we can. And we're asking if anybody's going and you do drive, amen, please reach out and let us know. We'll try to do the connections like we usually do. If somebody's close in your area, then you guys can carpool together. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Two is better than one, right, y'all? Amen. I sent out the um, the flyer for a holy convocation. Amen. The week, the first weekend in November. Amen. So everybody, get your dollars ready. Amen. Start to putting in your registration and setting aside monies for um, your hotels for those days. Okay. Amen. Our entire church is expected to be present. Amen. Amen. So begin to. Um, Get your, your registration and reach out if you have any questions. So far, um, that's all of the information that's been released from Overseer um, Apostle Misty. But you know she always sends out all of the information that we need. So right now, the first thing is to get registered, okay? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, the neighborhood prayer walks have started, y'all. Amen. So remember last year we came out and we Pray with you over your neighborhoods, amen. We're doing that again. The Lord wants us to, to continue it, amen. Please reach out and let me know what day is convenient for you for us to come into the prayer of agreement. There's nothing more powerful than the prayer of agreement, amen. You know what goes on in your neighborhood. Nobody has to tell you, amen. So whatever the dominant demons are in your neighborhood, we want to pray with you to tear down territorial demons. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. If you are out of state, that's fine. We can still pray with you. Amen? Just reach out and let us know. Amen. Well, August is VBS Fire Week for our glorified generation, our youth. Amen? We are excited. It's going to be a fire up week for our young people. Amen? Every mm. day they're going to learn about the fire. Amen. Yes. We have some exciting things this year that they're going to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. You're ready for the word. Amen. Amen. Come on. Somebody say, There is a word. There, there is, is a word. Pastor Tiffany, preach. Preach, Pastor Tiffany, preach. <laughs> <laughs> Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh Lord God, for your angels that encamp it round the battle, O oh Lord God. We thank you, O oh Lord God, for the open heaven, Lord God, to rest upon your ministry, O oh Lord God. I thank you, O oh Lord God, for the charge, O oh Lord God, to shepherd your people, O oh Lord God. Lord, now I descend that you may ascend, O oh my King. Take the cold, cleanse my lips, O oh Lord. Let me eat the scroll, O oh Lord God, and let me release it to the people of God just as you have downloaded into my spirit, O oh Lord God. Speak by your Holy Ghost, O oh Lord. We want to hear you speak on today, O oh Lord. We need a word from you, O oh Lord. And so we wait with bated breath, O oh Lord. Let every ear gate be open, every eye gate be open, every nose gate be open, every mouth gate be open, every belly open to receive what thus saith the Lord. In Jesus' name, somebody shout amen. 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 So, listen, this is what the Lord placed on my heart. Amen. The word for the house on today. Amen. So, the, a mountain, right? A mountain. Amen. What is a mountain? The word mountain in the Greek is the word oros. Oros. O-R-O-S. 
And the word mountain in the Hebrew is the word har, H-A-R, a mountain, a large mass of earth and rock rising above the common level of the earth or adjacent land, earth and rock forming an isolated peak or a ridge, an eminence higher than a hill, a mount, a large chain or group of such elevations, a mountain-like mass growing or living on a mountain found on or peculiar to among mountains as a mountain torrent, mountain pines, mountain air, mountain howitzer. These are things that are found in the mountains. Amen? Amen. The Bible mentions over 500 times about mountains. Amen? Matthew 4 and 8. Again, the devil took him to an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And so we know that this is Jesus, right? During the temptation from the devil, right? Amen. Matthew 5 and 1. Seeing the multitude, he went up unto the mountain where he had sat down. His disciples came to him. Matthew 5, 14. Ye are the light of the world, a city situated on top of a mountain cannot be hid, Korha. Amen. Matthew 8 and 1. When he came down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him, right? Um, Matthew 15, 29. Jesus departed there and came near to the Sea of Galilee, and he went up into the what? The mountain. mountain. And sat there. Matthew 17, 1. After six days, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, his brother, and brought them up into what? A high mountain by themselves. And this is about the Mount of Transfiguration, right? Yes. Hallelujah. And so mountains are mentioned so many times in the Bible. Amen. And, and it's always been a place where people go to get closer to God. Amen. The God who dwells in the heavens, right? Yeah, we yes. Amen. We have, uh, Noah's Ark rest on what? Mount Ararat, right? Yes. Uh, Genesis 8, 1 through 5. We know Moses received the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai, right? Yes. 19 uh, 20 and 24. We know Jesus prayed, right? Yes. The rest and crucifixion in the Mount of Olives, right? Yes. We know that later he ascends from here into heaven at Mount Zion, right? Yes. And he captures um, the area and becomes the, the city of David and the location of Solomon's temple, right? Hallelujah. And so mm. Mount, Mount Carmel, right, where Elijah calls God, right? Remember Mount Carmel? Yes. Amen. It calls, calls God to light the sacrifice on the fire, right? To receive the fire, right? Hallelujah. Yes. And we know that the Sermon on the Mount, right, was in a mountain. And so there are so many significant stories in the Bible that pertain to mountaintop experiences. Amen? Amen. One person in particular in the Bible had multitudes of mountaintop experiences. And we are going to walk a little through the text today, beloved, uh, with Moses, okay? Amen. Moses had a lifestyle of mountaintop experiences. Amen? Hallelujah. I decree and declare, City of Refuge House of Prayer, that it will be your heart's desire to live a mountaintop lifestyle. Yay. I decree and declare that it will be your passion 
your desire to ascend to the hill, to the hither place of the Lord, Amen. to come up higher to the mount of the Lord, to draw north, uh, near to the Lord, uh, to come up high. I decree and declare that you will forsake all else to come up to the face of God in the yes, presence Lord. of the Lord. I decree and declare that you will not fear. Hallelujah. Yes. The height, the altitude, the depth the breath of wind to come up closer. I yes, decree Lord. and declare, hallelujah, that you will not let devils, hallelujah, send you an imitation of what it means to be in the mountain of the Lord, in the presence of the Lord. I decree and declare, hallelujah, hallelujah. that God wants to take you higher, that yes, God Lord. is drawing you closer. He said, come up, come up, come up. Come up to the hither place in me, says the Lord, where I have some things that I need to show you things I need to reveal to you, but you've been too low. You've been too low. You are down on the ground, wallowing around. Hallelujah with the chickens. But I've called you to be my eagle, says the Lord. Hallelujah. I've called you to mount up on wings, and I've called you to soar with me in the mountain. Come up, come up, come up. Who will ascend? to the mountain of the Lord where I speak where I reveal myself when I speak face to face and mouth to mouth where I reveal my hidden treasures where I reveal the mysteries of my word where I download my word into you where you come back with the word of the Lord hallelujah Hallelujah. The mountaintop experience with the Lord is a one-on-one -on -one experience with the Lord. It's the place that nobody else can go with you. Nobody else can take you. It's the place that God draws you to. It's the place that God pursues you to come to. It's the place that God places a hunger and a desire and a thirst in you. Amen. To forsake all else and leave everything and everybody behind and say, I'll be back, but I've got to go because my father's calling me. It's a place of intimacy with the Lord. It's a place where no one else can come. It's a place when it's your turn, God will meet you where the presence and the rarefied air of heaven, hallelujah, becomes your air. It becomes your H2O. It becomes your oxygen, Hallelujah, where heaven kisses the earth. It's the place where God wants to dwell. It's the place where God teaches you about his ways. Hallelujah, it's where you learn him. It's, it's where you and him become friends, where you and him become buddies. There is a place in the cleft of the rock. Hallelujah. The Lord is drawing you, beloved. Glory. Do you want to go? Do you want Hallelujah. to go? Come, come, come. Yes, come Lord. up, says the Lord. Come yes, up Lord. higher, says the Lord. I'm drawing you. And yes, I'm Lord. calling you to the hither place in me. Yes, Lord. And so Moses, 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 he had these multiple mountaintop experiences. Amen? Amen. A mountaintop lifestyle can be lonely at times. Amen? Yes, Amen. it can be. Because it's a setting apart. It's a separation where no one else can go, where it's only you and God, where, where the world is shut out. And it's just you and the Father. Amen? Leviticus Amen. chapter 20, verse 26. And it reads, Thus you are to be holy to me, for I, the Lord, am holy, and I have set you apart from the people to be mine. There is a setting apart. There is a consecration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the Lord begins to call you to these mountaintop experiences, amen? And there is a preparation. Um, Deuteronomy 26, 18. The Lord has today declared you to be his people, a treasured possession, as he promised you, and that you should keep all his commandments, and that he will set you high above all nations, 
which he has made for praise, fame, and honor, and that you shall be a consecrated people to mm. the Lord your God, mm. as he has spoken. Amen? Amen. A mountaintop lifestyle can be frustrating. Exodus 33. Exodus 33, verse 14. God said, my presence will go with you, and I'll see the journey to the end. Oh, this is out of the message, y'all, message translation. And Moses said, if your presence doesn't take the lead here, listen, Moses was getting frustrated, y'all. <laughs> he was getting frustrated. He said, if your presence does not take the lead here, call this trip off right now. Mm. How else will it be known that you are with me in this, with me and your people? Are you traveling with us or not? You know, Moses was fed up. He was tired. He was like, look, what's the deal, Lord? Are, are you with us or not? He said, how else will we know that we're special, I and your people, among all the other people on this planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Moses was like, enough is enough, God. Now, you made me bring these people out here to Never Never Land. <laughs> They're complaining to me, accusing me of bringing them out to Never Never Land for them to die. So you got you got to say something. You got to bust a move, Lord. We are out here in the wilderness because you told me and they trusted me. Now, where are you, Lord? Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But do you see the intimacy of the relationship between Moses and the Lord? Yes. That Moses could talk to him just like that, like a friend. And that God would respond to him like a friend. He said, I speak to my servant Moses. What? Mm. Mouth to mouth, right? Yes. He, listen, he, Moses, God was his friend. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That's why God got angry when Aaron and what's his sister's name? Yeah. Miriam were talking about him. God took it personal. Yes, he yes. did. He, he, he showed up um, to, to Moses and to uh, Miriam and Aaron and said, come here. Let me talk to you for a minute. How is it you could just talk bad about my boy Moses like that and mm. think nothing of it? Do you know who he is? No. Do you know who I call him? Do you know the authority that he walks in? And you were so disrespectful and thought nothing of it. So now he said, he was like, now I got to do something about this. <laughs> Y'all know I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> <laughs> and what did he do? Miriam was struck with leprosy. Was she not? Yes. Oh, yes. And only the intercession and prayers of Moses turned God's heart that he will remove the leprosy mm. from Miriam. Yes. Because they thought they were all that. Yes, they did. They was like, who Moses think he is? We could prophesy. We know God. <laughs> Why he married that lady? They were just talking about their brother, bad-mouthing him, because he was their brother. And they weren't acknowledging his office. Mm. And who God had called him to be. They were too familiar and slack and lax with their honor of their leader. Mm. And God had to do something about it. Oh, come on now. Y'all act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Who knows what I'm talking about? Amen. So Amen. Miriam got struck with the leprosy. Everybody had to wait because she had to be put outside the camp, right? Now, it looks like Aaron got away with it, right? Like God didn't rebuke him, but he did not. And we're going to read that scripture in a minute about Aaron. So Moses lived a mountaintop lifestyle.
from the beginning when God first called him. Amen. So let's go to Exodus chapter 3. Exodus chapter 3. Very familiar text, right? Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that through the bush, though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. What kind of fire is this that doesn't consume? <laughs> For the Lord our God is what? An all-consuming fire. And the fire Amen. shall never go out upon the altar according to the book of Leviticus. Amen. It is an all-consuming fire. The fire that never quenches. The fire that never dies. The fire of God. Hallelujah. 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 And he says, glory be to God. And, they, and it says in verse 3, so Moses, hallelujah, Moses thought, I'll go, let me go check this out. I'll go over and see this strange sight. He said, it's strange. Why the bush does not burn up? And when the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush. Moses, Moses, oh, the bush talks? <laughs> mm. Jesus. Come on. God will cause you to what? To see. God mm. will get your attention to come up higher, to come to the hither place. He drew Moses to Mount Horeb, right? He drew him to the mountain to what? To call him into his destiny, to call him into what he was born for. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that we will pay attention to what? The signs along the way. That God is trying to leave you a breadcrumb, a bread trail to say, this is the way, this is my way, walk in it. I decree and declare that it is a destiny, hallelujah, day of visitation, that the Lord will call you to a higher place. It is a season of elevation. It is a season of increase. It is a season of expansion. It is the time when God will reveal your true self to you. Hallelujah. It says, so the Lord called him, Moses, Moses. This is, this is his call into his ministry, y'all. Just like when God called Samuel, right? Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel didn't recognize the voice of the Lord, right? Amen. And Moses said, here I am. Do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandal. For the place where you are standing is holy ground. Mm. And then he said, I am the God of your father. So listen, you can't, oh, Jesus. He is the all-consuming fire. You can't come close enough to the fire without acknowledging that he is holy and that the Lord. ground that you worship on is holy unto the Lord. You must take off your shoes in reverence of the holy God. Hallelujah. Lest you be consumed. Glory be to God. Glory. And so God begins to talk to him, right? And so now God does what? Reveals himself. I am. Who is he? I am. Who is I he? Am. I am. The great I am that I am. That's who he is. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, I am. Glory be to God. The God of your father. The God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. The God of Jacob. And at this, Moses did what? Hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of... Now listen, this is what happens when God calls you, amen? God reveals who he is, and then God begins to reveal your covenant with him, amen? And the mantle and the call and the anointing and the purpose 
for which you are born, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that the house of city of refuge, house of prayer, that you will begin to have visitations with the Lord. You will yes, have Lord. destiny visitations with the Lord in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus that the Lord will call you by your name. Yes, and Lord. Lord pronounce and announce that he is I am and that I am shall call you into your office shall call you into your mantle shall call you into your next assignment in the name of Jesus I decree and declare hallelujah that you will take the time to worship him to seek him to find him to come up higher yes Lord to be in the presence of the Lord, face to face with the Lord, mouth to mouth with the Lord. Yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus, the Lord has some things that he needs to reveal to you. The Lord has some things that he needs to show you. So yes, come Lord. up, come up, come up. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. So God reveals himself as I am, right? And he said, listen, I'm the same God of your father. I'm the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In other words, I am the covenant. Mm. I am the covenant keeping God. That's who I am. And now I'm showing up to you. So what does that mean? I'm about to make covenant with you. The Lord wants to make covenant with somebody today. The mm. Lord wants to come in agreement with somebody today. Hallelujah. Mm. That God is still God. And mm. that's an awesome assignment that's on your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, he Lord. knows the plans that he has for you, says the Lord. The Lord <laughs> God, hallelujah, is calling you into your purpose, calling you into your destiny, calling you to walk under the kabod, the weight of the glory of God, yes, and the Lord. anointing for which he created you for. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 It says, I've seen the misery of my people in Egypt, and I've heard them crying out because of their slave drivers, and I am concerned about their suffering. He's revealing the assignment. And so I have come down, come down, Lord, to mm. rescue them. Come down, Lord, and yeah. rescue your people, to yeah. rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that the Lord our God, the great I am, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore, will come down to the mouth, hallelujah, and reveal himself, hallelujah, that there is an assignment for his people to deliver those that are bound, hallelujah, that there shall be deliverance upon Mount Zion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. So I had to come down. I had to come down. Amen. <laughs> Bring them up out of that land into a good, spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey, the mm. home of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Amen. Amen. God is saying, um, Korha. I'm going to bring you into your land overflowing with milk and honey. Mm. But there's some ice on the land you're going to have to deal with. So I'm letting you know right now. Amen. Hallelujah. So okay. what is your ice today? Amen. We all got an ice. Amen. That we have to battle. Amen. We got ice in our homes. Amen. Ice in our relationships. Ice. Amen. On the job. There's just ice. Amen. Hallelujah. Looking to stop you from getting to your destiny to block you. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I decree and declare that the great I am, hallelujah, is yeah. dealing with the ice in the land. I decree and declare that the great I am, hallelujah, has released angels to war on our behalf. I yes, decree Lord. and declare that the glory of the Lord shall precede city of refuge, house of prayer, and that the mm -hmm. Lord will clear the land on Alleluia. our behalf. In Jesus yes, name. Lord. In Jesus. Yeah. It says, and now cry. And now the cry of the Israelites have reached me, and I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus 
that the stronghold of Pharaoh is being broken in Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah. declare that you are no longer under the oppression. Hallelujah. Oh, Pharaoh. I decree and declare that the anointing that destroys the yoke. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Is releasing the people of God. Yes, no Lord. more oppression. No longer bound. No longer with a frown. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the Lord has made a way of escape. Like yeah. the word out of this now, I decree and declare that our oh, God fights on our behalf. Jehovah Gibbor, you are the God of war and you war against those that war against us. You fight against those that fight against us. Take hold of the shield and buckler and yes, say, help, oh Lord God, that we will stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, and the enemy we see today, Thank we will you. no longer see. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So the Lord has come down to rescue his people because he's heard of the cries and the sufferings. And now the cry of the Israelites has reached me. And I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. And so now go. I am sending you to Pharaoh. To bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. Mm. Hallelujah. So he received his assignment, y'all. Yes. This is Moses' response. He said, God, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? He's like, you got the wrong dude. Right? He's like, you got the one. And God said, I will be with you. And this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this very mountain. Moses said to God, suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they ask me, what is his name? Then what shall I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. <laughs> this is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, say to the Israelites, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This mm. is my name forever. The name you shall call me. From generations to generations, glory be to God. Mm. He tells them, go assemble the elders of Israel and tell them, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob appeared to me and said, I have watched over you and have seen what has been done to you in Egypt, and I have promised to bring you up out of your misery in Egypt into the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, the Jebusites, a land flowing with milk and honey. And the elders of Israel will listen to you. And then you and the elders are to go to the king of Egypt and say to him, the Lord, the God of the Hebrews has met with us. Let us take a three-day journey into the wilderness. Come on, that's one of God's numbers, y'all. Three, right? Amen. Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. A three-day journey into the wilderness to offer sacrifices to the Lord our God. But I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless a mighty hand compels him. So I will stretch out my hand and strike the Egyptians with all the wonders that I will perform among them. After that, he will let you go. The devil's got to let you go, Korhak. The Hallelujah. devil to turn you loose, Korhak. I decree Hallelujah. and declare that a strong hand of the Lord has yes, compelled Lord. Satan to yes, Lord. lose his grip. Yes, Lord. The house of God. I yes, decree Lord. and declare, hallelujah, no longer bound, no longer oppressed, no longer hallelujah. harassed, no longer mocked, no longer in lack. I decree and declare that yes, today Lord. is your day of emancipation. Yes, Lord. I hold the Pharaoh. I decree decree and declare whoever whatever the Pharaoh is that you are facing and your situation and your circumstance 
He has got to let you go. And Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. He says, and I will make the Egyptians favorably disposed toward this people so that when you leave, listen, listen, <laughs> so that when you do leave and, and they turn you loose, you will not go empty handed. Mm. You will not go broke, poor, disgusted. Mm. The Lord says, I'm going to bless your storehouse. Amen. Mm. Jehovah Jireh is the Lord our provider. I mm. decree and declare that the wealth of the wicked that is laid up for the just is being released in the name of Jesus. And so he says, I will make the Egyptians favorably disposed toward this people so that when you leave, you will not go empty handed. Every woman is to ask her neighbor and any woman living in her house for articles of silver, gold, clothing, which you will put on your sons and daughters. And so you will what? Plunder the Egyptians. I decree and declare the Pharaoh that have held you down. Amen. All of this time has got to let you go. Hallelujah. Pharaoh has to turn you loose. Pharaoh has got to bless you. It's payback time, y'all. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The Bible says if the strong man be bound, he must restore what? Seven times. I decree and declare a sevenfold harvest, a sevenfold return, all for your shame and for your pain. The devil has got to pay up. He's got to spit it up, cough it out, loose it, and let it go in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. You will not be empty-handed. Your baskets will not be empty. You're coming out with overflow. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So Moses would hold his corporate meetings with the Lord on the mountain. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Coming back down from the altitude of God. Amen. Listen to this, y'all. When you come back down from the altitude of God's heavenly mountain, being in the presence of the Lord can be frustrating. Remember the children of Israel, they made the golden calf, y'all, when Moses yes. went up to the mountain? Yes. yes. So here's Moses in the face of God, in the presence of God, in the glory of God. He probably never wanted to leave, amen? And the children of Israel is acting a fool. Acting a fool. They bullied Aaron. Forced him to make this golden calf, right? They sinning, they partying, getting drunk, having orgies, all kinds of immoral stuff, right? While Moses is on the mountaintop, for them, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that as you pursue God for your mountaintop experience, that there shall be peace in the land. I decree and declare that as you draw near to God, that the enemy will not come closer to your family, to your loved ones. I decree and declare that all is well as you pursue the Lord, as you go to the hidden place. I decree and declare that a grace of peace will rest upon your land, will rest upon your people. I decree and declare that the angels with the flaming swords will stand guard over your doorpost in Jesus' name. I cast out every demonic squatter and all demonic encroachment in the name of Jesus. I release the peace of God, the peace of God over your family, over your business, and over Hallelujah. your job your schools, over everything that you have authority over, over the churches, over yes, the Lord. over your gifts, over your callings, over your anointings, over your relationships in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Coming Hallelujah. down from Glory. the altitude of God's heavenly mountain. Amen? Amen. Amen. 
Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in this holy place? Who is it? Who is qualified to come up? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek his face. Oh, Jacob, say love. The ones who qualify to come up to the holy place, the ones who have clean hands and a pure heart, the ones who are humble before the Lord, these are those who shall receive the blessing of the Lord. Amen. The ones who what? Seek his face. Mm. Hallelujah. There Amen. are extreme highs and lows that coexist between the rarefied air of the heavenly atmosphere in your mountaintop experiences. Amen. Listen. We're talking about coming up in the glory. We're talking about dwelling in the glory of the Lord. We're talking about the root out the breath, the rarefied air of heaven. We're talking about another altitude. We're talking about another realm. We're talking about another place in him. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Is there somebody? Is there one? That's where I want to go. I want to ascend to the hill of the Lord. Hallelujah. Is there somebody that say I'm tired of, of being down here clucking with the chickens? I want Hallelujah. To be like the eagle of the Lord. I yes, want Lord. To like the eagle of the Lord. I want to yes, turn Lord. up to the place. Hallelujah. When there's no one else but me and you, oh Lord. My heart desires. Hallelujah. To be one with you. So call me and draw me. Pick me up, take me up by my prophetic lock. Hallelujah, on my own attachment. I've got to go. Take me into the higher heights of your glory, oh Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Going up to the mountain, to the rarefied air of heaven, where heaven kisses the earth, where the climate of earth is transformed. By the atmosphere of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's Lord. another realm. It's another Thank atmosphere. It's another presence where, where, where the angelic beings exist and coexist. And where you see the face of the man and the face of the ox and the face of the lion and the face of the eagle. Where you see the fire of the Lord's chariot and his throne. It is a place unlike none other. Hallelujah. It's a place where the angels begin to ascend and descend. It is a place, it is a place unlike none other where the portals of heaven are open unto you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Moses, he received instructions on the mountain, did he not? Amen. Yes. Exodus 19. Exodus 19. Um, we're going to start at three, okay? Then Moses climbed the mountain to appear before God. The Lord called to him from the mountain and said, Give these instructions to the family of Jacob. Announce it to the descendants of Israel. You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and you know how I carried you on eagles' wings and brought you up to myself. Now, if you will obey me and keep my covenant, you will be my own special treasure from among all the people on the earth. For all the earth belongs to me, and you will be my kingdom of priests, my holy nation. They said, come on, say somebody say, I'm chosen. I'm chosen. I'm chosen, I'm chosen by the Lord. I'm chosen. chosen by the Lord. I'm set apart. By the Lord. Set apart. Set apart. This is the message you must give to the people of Israel. So Moses returned from the mountain. And called together the elders of the people and told them everything the Lord had commanded him. And all the people responded together, we will do everything the Lord has commanded. And so Moses brought the, people and the people's answer back to the Lord. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will come to you, listen, in a thick cloud. In other words, in the darkness. 
Glory be to God. Mm. God dwells in the thick darkness, in the dark cloud. Moses, so the people themselves can hear me when I speak with you. Then you will always trust me. Hallelujah. Oh, sorry, then they will always trust you. Moses told the Lord what the people had said. Then the Lord told Moses, go down and prepare the people for my arrival. Consecrate them today and tomorrow. And so there is a setting apart. There is a consecration and there is a preparation to come to the his place. Amen. Amen. Be sure they are ready on the third day. For on that day, the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai. As all the people watch and every eye shall see him. Amen. Mark Amen. off a border all around the mountain. Warn the people, be careful. Do not go up on the mountain or even touch its boundary. Anyone who touches the mountain will certainly be put to death. No hand may touch the person or animal that crosses the boundary. Instead, store, stone them or shoot them with arrows. Wow. They must be put to death. However, when the ram's horn sounds a long blast, then the people may go up on the mountain. Hallelujah. Mm. So Moses, what happened, y'all? There was no more limits, no boundaries, right? Amen. God mm. removed the restraints so the people could come. It says so, Mo so the people, consecrate. he consecrated them for worship. They washed their clothes. He told them, get ready for the third day. And until then, abstain from having um, sexual intercourse. On the morning of the third day, thunder roared and lightning flashed. And a dense cloud came down on the mountain. God came down. God comes down. God is coming down in all of his glory. God is coming down to meet Amen. his people, to visit his people. God is about to reveal himself because he's heard Hallelujah. the cries and the rumblings of his people. He's heard the sufferings of this people in the land. Yes, God yes. wants to come down and meet his people again. Mm. There was a long blast from the ram's horn and all the people trembled and Moses led them out from the camp to meet with God mm -hmm. and they stood at the foot of the mountain. All the Mount Sinai was covered with smoke because the Lord had descended on it in the form of fire. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. The smoke billowed into the sky like smoke from a, a brick kiln and the whole mountain shook. Can you imagine a mountain shaking violently? As the blast of the ram's horn grew louder and louder, Moses spoke, and God thundered his reply. Hallelujah. The Lord came down on the top of Mount Sinai and called Moses to the top of the mountain. Listen, y'all. He called Moses to come to the top of the mountain again. And so Moses climbed the mountain. Then the Lord told Moses, go back down and warn the people not to break through the boundaries to see the Lord or they will die. Even the priests who regularly come near to the Lord must purify themselves so that the Lord does not break out and destroy them. But Lord Moses protested. The people cannot come up to Mount Sinai. You already warned us. You told me. Mark off a boundary all around the mountain to set it apart as holy. But the Lord said, go down, bring Aaron back up with you in the meantime, and do not let the priest or the people break through to approach the Lord, or mm. he will break out and destroy them. And so Moses went down to the people and told them what the Lord had said. God gave him very specific instructions for the people. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that that you will go up and meet with the Lord, that you will come back with divine instructions for your life in Jesus' name. Mm. He received the law on the mountains, right, y'all? The Ten Commandments, right? Yes. He took his elders to another level on the mountain. Yes. Amen. Come on now, Exodus 24.
Now he said to Moses, come up to the Lord, you and Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and 70 of the elders of Israel, and worship from afar. And Moses alone shall, Moses alone shall come near the Lord, but they shall not come near, nor shall the people go up with him. Mo so Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord and all the judgments. And all the people answered with one voice and said, all the words which the Lord has said, we will do. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord, and he rose early in the morning, built an altar at the foot of the mountain, and 12 pillars, the 12 pillars are for the 12 tribes, right? Yes. To order, apostolic order, according to the 12 tribes of Israel. Then he sent men of the children of Israel who offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings and oxen to the Lord. And Moses took half the blood, put it in the basin, half the blood he sprinkled on the altar. Then he took the book of the covenant and read in the hearing of the people. And they said, all that the Lord has said, we will do and be obedient. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people. This is the blood of the covenant, which the Lord has made with you, according to these words. And then Moses went up. He went up into the mountain, y'all. This time he's taken Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and the 70 elders. And they saw the God of Israel. They came up. They had access granted because of Moses. Because of the favor and the anointing that Moses walked in. And the mantle he walked under with the Lord. Moses took his leaders up, hallelujah, into the mountain. And they what? They saw. They saw the God of Israel. And there was under his feet, as it were, a great work of sapphire stone. And it was like the very heavens in his clarity. But on the nobles of the children of Israel, he did not lay his hand. And so they saw God. And they lived, y'all. And listen, they had lunch with God. It says they ate and they drank with, with God. And then the Lord said to Moses, now listen, they saw, right? They saw God. They know that God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is real, right? They're yep. sitting in the presence of the Lord, eating and drinking and fellowshipping with God. So then God, so then God um, says to Moses, I need to pull you away. I need to draw you away. You brought the leaders to another level in their gifts and their calling and their anointings and their ministry. You brought them up to another level in me. But there's a place in me where none of them can go. Hallelujah. Mm. And so God comes to Moses and he says, come on, come up to me. So he's taking Moses, what, higher. Listen. As your leaders go higher, there's another level of elevation for you. Every time your leaders go up, you go up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Come up to me on the mountain and be there. And I will give you the tablets of stone and the law and commandments, which I have written, that you may teach them. So Moses arose with his assistant Joshua. Come on now, y'all. Joshua was his, was his, was his what? His armor bearer. His adage, right? Yes. And Moses went up to the mountain of God and he said to the elders, wait here for us until we come back to you. Indeed, Aaron and her are with you. If any man has difficulty, let them go to them. And then Moses went up, he went up, he went up, he went up into the mountain and a cloud covered the mountain. So the cloud did what? Shielded and covered and hid Moses. <laughs> now the glory of the Lord rested on Mount Sinai and the cloud covered it for six days. And on the seventh day, God's number of completion, he called to Moses out of the midst of the cloud. And the sight of the glory of the Lord was like a consuming fire on the top of the mountain in the eyes of the children of Israel. And Moses went into the midst of the cloud. Come on, y'all. When the Bible describes Jesus in the Father, it describes him as going into the Father, into the presence. Amen. 
And and this Amen. is um this is a type in a shadow, amen. Of how Jesus goes in and out, in and out. Hallelujah. He's yes, what he's ever making intercession for us, right? Amen. And he only does and says what the Father says and does for us. And so here is Moses, amen, going up in the midst of the cloud, into the mountain with the Lord. And Moses was on the mountain for what? 40 days and 40 mm -hmm. nights. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Glory be to God. I decree and declare that God is about to do the miraculous in our lives in 40 days. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory. If we take this 40 day journey with him, amen. Hallelujah mm -hmm. together. Amen. God is about, hallelujah, to have some mountaintop experiences with us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We're talking about mountaintop experiences. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Even when it was time for Aaron, the priest, the first high priest to die, God did what? Took them up to a mountain, right? Yes. He had Moses strip his priestly garments in Numbers chapter 20, verse 22. The whole Israelite community set out from Kadesh and came to Mount Hor. At Mount Hor near the border of Edom, the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Aaron will be gathered up to his people. And he will not enter the land. I give the Israelites. Now listen here. This is the answer to why he wasn't punished when Miriam was punished. Because both of you, both of you rebelled against my command at the waters of Meribah. Get Aaron and his son Eleazar and take them up to Mount Hor. Remove Aaron's garments and put them on his son Eleazar. For Aaron will be gathered to his people, and he will die there. And Moses did as the Lord commanded. Now remember, y'all, Aaron is Moses' brother, his blood brother. Yes. God is telling him, take your brother to his deathbed. Mm. I'm telling you that when you take off his priestly garments, he's going to die in front of your face. Mm. Can you imagine? Jesus. Oh, Jesus. And Moses removed Aaron's garments and put them on his son, Eleazar, and Aaron died there on the top of the mountain. Hallelujah. Then Moses and Eleazar came down from the mountain, and when the whole community learned that Aaron had died, all the Israelites mourned for 30 days. When Moses' assignment was complete, he called the people to what? The mountain, right? Amen. Amen. When God spoke to him about the promised land, the children of Israel, and that he would not enter it. Can y'all take one more? Yes. One more text? Yes. Deuteronomy 1. Uh, around verse 6. The Lord our God spoken to us in Horeb, Mount Horeb, saying, you have dwelt long enough in this mount. Turn you and take your journey and go to the mount of the Amorites unto all the places right there unto, nigh there unto in the plain, in the hills and in the valley and in the south and by the seaside to the land of the Canaanites and unto Lebanon, unto the great river Euphrates. Behold, that means pay attention. I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to give unto them and to their seed after them. And I've spoken to you at that time saying, I am not able to bear you myself alone. This is Moses, right? Amen. I am not able to bear you myself alone. The Lord has multiplied you and behold, you are this day as the stars of the heaven for multitude. The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more. And bless you as he's promised you. How can I myself alone bear your cumbersome and your burden and your strife? Take you wise men and understanding and knowing among your tribes and I will make them rulers over you. So Moses was like, listen. You, I can't, I can't do it no more. It's too many of you. You know, you, all you do is complain. And it's too much for me. Mm. So I'm going to 
uh, anoint and consecrate, set apart holy men, men of wisdom, that they can watch over you. It says, so I took the chief of your tribes, wise men, and made them heads over you, captains over thousands, captains over hundreds, captains over fifties, captains over tens, and officers among your tribes. And I charged your judges at that time, saying, hear the causes between your brethren, and judge righteously between every man and his brother, and the stranger that is with him. Ye shall not respect persons in judgment. Meaning because somebody's your friend, you're going to um, let them get over. But you shall hear the small as well as the great, and you shall not be afraid of the face of man. For the judgment of God, for the, for the judgment is God, and the cause that is too hard for you, bring it to me and I will hear it. And I commanded you at that time all the things that you should do. And when we departed from Horeb, we went through all the great and terrible wilderness, which you saw by the way of the mountain. And I said unto you, you are coming to the mountains of the Amorites, which the Lord your God has given to us. Behold, the Lord thy God has set the land before you. Go up and possess it as the Lord, the God of your fathers, has said. Fear not. And you came near unto me, every one of you, and said, we will send men before us, and they shall search us out of the land. And the saying pleased me well. And I took 12 men out of the tribe. And then you turned and went up into the mountain and came into the valley. And then you took of the fruit of the land in their hands and brought it down unto us. Notwithstanding, you will go up and rebel against the commandment of the Lord your God. And you murdered in your tent. And because the Lord hated us, he has brought us out of the land of Egypt to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites to destroy us. Where shall we go? Our brethren have discouraged our heart, saying the people is greater and taller than we. The cities are great and well. Then I said unto you, dread not and don't be afraid. The Lord your God goes before you and he shall fight for you. And in the wilderness, when, when you have seen how that the Lord God bear you, yet in this thing you did not believe the Lord. What is he doing? He is recounting reminding, putting in remembrance all that the Lord God has done for them when he brought them out of the stronghold of Pharaoh. Amen? Amen. He's reminding them of all Amen. of their sinful and wicked ways, how they rebelled against God. Amen? Uh, 40. Amen. But as, as for you, turn you, take your journey to the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. Then you answered and said to me, we have sinned against the Lord. And we will go up and fight according to all that the Lord God commanded. And the Lord said unto me, say unto them, go not up, neither fight, for I am not among you, lest you be smitten before your enemies. So I spoke to you, and you would not hear, you wouldn't listen, but rebelled against the commandment of the Lord. And the Amorites, which dwelt in the mountain, came out against you and chased you. And you returned and wept before the Lord, but the Lord would not hearken to your voice. So you abode in Kadesh many days according to the days that you abode there. And so the Lord had Moses recite all of these things back to the children of Israel before the Lord was ready to take Moses home. Amen. To be Amen. with the Lord. Amen. So Deuteronomy 32 and 48. And the Lord said to Moses that same day, go up to this mountain of the Abraham Mount Nebo in the land of Moab beside Jericho and look at the land of Canaan. He's saying, look, I want you to look at it, which I'm giving to the people of Israel for their own. Then die in the mountain. You go mm -hmm. up. He's still telling him to go up in the mountain and join your people as Aaron, your brother, died on Mount Hor and joined his people. This is because you were not faithful to me among the people of Israel at the waters of Meribah Kadesh. That's when G that's when Moses, when he struck the rock, remember? Yes. Water, and he Amen. was mad because yes. the people had got on his nerves. And he struck in anger. And the Lord said, you will not see the land overflow. You will not go in to the land overflowing with milk and honey. And he says, in the desert is then, and you did not honor me as holy among the people. And you will see the land from afar away, but you will not go into the land I am given to the people of Israel. Moses lived a lifestyle of mountaintop experiences from the very moment that God called him into his destiny and revealed to him his purpose. Amen. 
as the mm. deliverer for the children of Israel until mm. the day when he took his last breath. He Jesus. was still called to a mountaintop experience. And the Bible says that until this day, they have yet to find his resting place. They never found his bones. They never found his body. Amen. Because amen. God, hallelujah, is the only one, amen, that knows where he set his servant Moses to rest. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that you will live a life from now until the last, last breath in your body of mountaintop experiences in Jesus' name, that you will never want or lack for anything because the Lord God will speak to you mouth to mouth and face to face. I decree and declare that you will have mountaintop experiences that will yes, transform Lord. your life. God is leading us and taking us to a whole nother level in him, to a whole nother realm in him, to a whole nother dimension in him. I decree and declare that you will let go of everything that has weighted you down, that has held you down, that has held you back. In the name of Jesus, yes, I break every stronghold. I break every chain. I yes, break Lord. every fetter. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, this is your day. Hallelujah of emancipation. It is your day yes. of freedom. It is your Lord. day to grab a hold. Hallelujah. hallelujah and soar. Hallelujah yes, to the mountain of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah, the Lord is drawing and the Lord <coughs> is calling. The Lord is calling you by your hallelujah. name. Because Moses, Moses, hallelujah, he's calling your name twice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Let him that happen to hear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What the spirit and the bride says. Yes, the Lord. spirit and the bride says, come. The spirit and the bride says, come. I remove the boundaries. I remove the limits, says the Lord. The Lord says, Come. He read your shakanda. Hallelujah. 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 I made a way, says the Lord, for you to come. The Lord. The Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And calling his people. Hallelujah. To catch the wind of the Lord. Yes, Lord. To pick up the fragrance, the scent of the Lord. Yes, Lord. To follow the breadcrumb trail of the Lord. Yes, Lord. To the hither place in him. Yes, He's Lord. made a way for you to come. He's yes, parted Lord. the Red Sea for you to come. Yes, Is Lord. there one that would say yes? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Is there one that want to go? Who wants yes, to go? Lord. Hallelujah. Who wants to go? Hallelujah. 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 The spirit and the bride says, come. The spirit and the bride says, come. Yes, Lord. Come, come, come. Hallelujah. But yet have time. Come, come, come. Thank you, Jesus. Come, come. Come, yes, Lord. face to face, says the Lord. Hallelujah. As somebody that's listening under the sound of my voice, and you said, how do I get there? I hear them all saying yes, and that they want to go and responding like they're already there. And, and some are already there. And you say, I don't know how to get there. I don't know how to get to that place. What do I need to do? If that's you, beloved, and you have never asked Jesus Christ to come into your heart and to be your Savior, just say this simple prayer with us. Say, dear Jesus, dear Jesus, I am a sinner. I am a sinner. And I repent of all my sins. And I repent of all my sins. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. And be my Savior. And be my Savior. And pick me up. And to the up. hither place in you. To the hither Hallelujah. Place. If Hallelujah. that's you, beloved. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You just got saved. Glory be to God. Glory. All of the angels in heaven rejoice when one's name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. 
Yes, you Lord. You made the best decision that you could ever make. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Hallelujah. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. Amen. Yes, and Lord. that is you. Yes. We celebrate with you. Yes, you have Lord. an entire new family all over the globe. Yes, Welcome Lord. Welcome to the family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome into the kingdom. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Yes, Lord. We bless Hallelujah. God for you. We Hallelujah. would like to hear from you if that is you. Yes, Lord. Please send us a message Hallelujah. in the chat. Yes, Lord. Send a text, whatever you got to do. Because we want to celebrate this new Christian journey with you. Yes, Lord. So walk out your salvation with fear and trembling. Yes, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. If there's one who's on with us today, hallelujah, and you say the Holy Spirit has been pricking your heart, amen, about this church, amen, about this vineyard, amen, we offer you City of Refuge, House of Prayer, Yes, amen. Lord. Pastor Tiffany Webster, amen. I would love to be your under shepherd, amen. We would amen. love to have you join the family. Yes, if, Lord. If that's you, amen, say that's me, Pastor, amen. Hallelujah. You can raise your hand. You can say it verbally, amen, and we will respond. But the doors of the church are open unto you. Hallelujah. Everyone today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Is there one in yes, the church home? Yes, you need to be spirit. rooted. You need to be grounded. You need to be covered. You need to be attached. Yes, Lord. Yes, you need to be committed. Amen. Yes, you need spirit. to be fed. You need someone to nurture your gifts that are inside of you. Amen. Yes, Lord. You need to grow you up and mature you in the things of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All hearts are clear. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. We're just going to pray for you, beloved. Amen. Hallelujah. The doors of the church are open. The altar of the church is open. The altar is where we come to give our lives to the Lord. Yes. If we to lay our burdens down. Amen. It's where we come to be made new all over again. It's where we come to receive deliverance, to receive healing. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. If that's you, beloved, amen. Come on, just lift up your hand. Amen. Where you are. And say, that's me. Say, I'm coming to the altar, Pastor. Say, that's me. That's me. Standing in the need of prayer today. Amen. Yes, amen. Come to the altar. While it's still time, beloved, make your way to the altar, the altar of your heart. There's no distance in prayer, amen? Come to the altar. Come to the altar, be saved, be healed, be set free, be delivered in Jesus' name. The altar, for the fire of God, right? Hallelujah, the altar of God, for the angels of the Lord, save God. The altar of God. Hallelujah. Will you receive your download, your instruction? Amen. Come to the altar. Amen. Now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, for these, Lord God. For any who are raised their hands, Lord God, raise their hands in their heart, Lord God. And yes, so we pray over each and every one today, Lord. And as they bring themselves, bring their families, Lord, bring their, bring their situation and their circumstances to the altar. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the fire of God, for you are the all-consuming fire. And that, Lord, you will burn up, Lord God, hallelujah, every sin, every iniquity, every transgression, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord God, for, for marriages being restored. I thank you for relationships being restored. I thank you for healing and delivery taking place. I thank you for your miracle signs and wonders. I thank you that we will be made whole in our minds, in our hearts, in our bodies, and our soul. 
We thank you, Lord, for you're the comforter. I thank you for the peace your shalom that the life is on the planet, oh Lord God. I thank you for your peace, Lord, that rests upon your people, oh Lord God. For we prepare a door for night for joy comes in the morning. I thank you, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. For the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. In our portion today, we thank you, O Lord God. Yes, Lord. That we be the same, O Lord God. That we cast our cares upon you because you carry God, O Lord God. We thank you, O Lord God, for changing us, changing our garments, changing our names, because you have made covenant with us this day. And we yes, give you Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. 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 You know the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Amen. 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 This is the best part of service. Come on, somebody shout. Hallelujah. 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 The best part of church. When we get to openly, physically express and show our love, our abode. Amen for Jesus, our King. Amen. Amen. Where we bring our gifts unto the King. We present our offerings unto the King. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I pray. Amen. I declare. Amen. Harvest. Amen. Return over the offerings in Jesus' name. Some 30, some 60, some 100 fold. Amen. Hallelujah. As you come to the altar, you're giving your hearts to the Lord. And so now you come by faith, amen. Hallelujah. To give of your seed unto the Lord because you love the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He's going to hold the offering basket. Amen. And we are praying supernatural harvest and increase. Amen. For the house of God. Amen. That city of refuge amen. house of prayer will lack for nothing. That every need is met. That every saint of God, every household is blessed. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Supernaturally, exceedingly, and abundantly. Amen. That we shall give at the feet of our apostles. Amen. amen. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord, bless every hand that has to give today, Lord God. Bless every seed that's being sown today, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Father God, bless their tithes. Bless their offerings, Lord God. Bless their arms, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, O Lord God, for those who have to give and those who don't have to give. Lord God, we pray, O Lord God, that their ship has come in, Lord God. We pray, O Lord God, that you have enlarged their territory, O Lord God, and they shall cause no pain, O Lord God. We thank you for increase, for wealth and riches shall be in our house. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for multiplied blessings. Because we have tried you, oh, Lord God, and you will fill the storehouses, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for snatching, Lord God, out of the hand of the enemy what's been held up and held back in Jesus' name. We yes, declare Lord. a release on the finances. Yes, Praise you on the finances. We declare an anointing on the finances, the anointing of Cyrus, oh, God, in the name yes, of Jesus. Lord. Anointing of Melchizedek, oh, Lord. The Abrahamic anointed, Lord God, yes. in the name of Jesus, overflow, overflow, overflow. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. 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 Is everybody giving? Hallelujah. Come on, keep on giving. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold, sickness and poverty must be. For the devil is defeated. We are blessed. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold, sickness and poverty must be. 
the devil is defeated. We are blessed. We're blessed. 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 We're blessed. We're blessed. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Are all my clear? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Sending you a virtual hug, Pastor. Huh? Sending you a virtual oh, hug. Thank you, Thank you. Love you. Thank Have you. a blessed you. day. Amen. Amen. Shalom. 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 Shalom.